Hello everybody. Um, so if you don't already know, Dark Souls 2 is coming out for PC on April 25th. So I'm super excited. I know it's already out for consoles and all that good stuff, but I think we can celebrate with good old Dark Souls 1. So I think I'm going to do a Let's Play of Dark Souls 1. Um, so Dark Souls is probably one of my favorite games of all time. At least one of my, yeah, one of my favorite games. And um, I figure if I'm going to, this is like my first Let's Play, so I figured if I was going to pick any game to do a Let's Play of, it's going to be Dark Souls 1. It has to be. Dark Souls 1 is just so good. It's so great. Um, so um, let's just get started here. Dark Souls is basically a third-person action adventure RPG, I guess you could say, if you haven't even heard of it yet or even seen it. Um, it's supposed to be really hard. Um, that's what it's known for, is Prepare to Die Edition. This is the PC version. Um, well, it is pretty hard, but I'm not going to lie. I've beaten the game before uh, a couple times, so this isn't going to be like a blind Let's Play for any by any means. Um, and I'm not saying like I'm an expert or anything. We'll try to make progress, though. We'll, we'll finish the game. We'll beat the game uh, one video at a time. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so basically we're going to start a new game. Um, I'm so excited. I, I've actually always wanted to do a Let's Play of Dark Souls. It's such a great game. And everyone should experience it. Let's see. Enter my name. You know what? We're going to be missing... Oh, I can't spell worth a fuck. Oh my god. How do you even spell I'm going to be missing no? Missing no. <laughs> Anybody with a Game Boy Color when they were a kid knows what that means. Uh, sex. We're going to be female. Uh, why? Because I like females. <laughs> uh, class. Let's see. You're going to be a bandit. We're going to make a, a, a strength build for this run. Uh, yeah, bandit. Bandit's a good start for strength. Um, gift. I guess for this Let's Play, um, I'm going to try to be informative, but I'm also going to try to make progress. So I guess we'll kind of mix it up. I'll also maybe try to throw in some lore every once in a while. Um, I don't know if I really want to explain what each one of these does. I usually pick like the Master Key. Um, you got certain things like Black Firebomb that you can pick for your gift, which is a one-time item you start out with. But Black Firebombs you can just buy from people, so... I mean, Master Key's pretty good. Old Witch's Ring is something you can use to get into a covenant in the game, which we'll talk about later. Um, I'm going to go for Master Key. Physique. We're going to do uh, Slim. Okay, she is looking hot. Alright. <laughs> Let's do... Uh, it doesn't really matter what your character looks like, because you usually don't see them, and even when you do see them, you're usually undead, so you can't even, like... You know, you look awful all the time anyways. We'll do classic Xena, I guess. Hair color. Or hair. Well, I mean, probably do like, what? Wave? I don't care. We'll do wave. Color. Uh. Oh, red. Redheads all the way. <laughs> yes. Redheads. Okay. Uh, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. So we're going to accept and I guess uh, we're gonna begin the game I guess the objective of this let's play well I don't know I mean I guess to inform people of Dark Souls to spread the word of Dark Souls maybe even just have at least one person watch one of these videos and show interest in the game or pick up the game just out of curiosity or just you know even just discover the game maybe just after watching one of my videos maybe give them the urge to play the game that is probably my goal if at least one person does that or so, I would be pretty happy. I mean, if anyone does, you know, if that does happen to you, I mean, feel free to leave a comment, you know, or talk about it. I mean, I'm not really expecting, I don't even know if anyone's going to watch these, <laughs> honestly, but I'm going to try to keep things interesting. We're going to get through the game. We're going to experience this adventure of Dark Souls. I hope I can share how great of a game this is to somebody out there. So anyways, uh, let's get started. All right, I'm not going to talk during any of the cutscenes, so uh, the opening cutscene, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, just uh, we'll see after the cutscene, I guess. 
In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords drew the heart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
All right, let's begin. So you're probably wondering after watching that beginning cutscene, what the fuck is going on? What is all that? What is this nonsense about lords and 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 dragons and age of fire and undead? Oh, don't worry, baby birds, we'll feed you. We'll feed you as we go along. I too was wondering, like I, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about this game. And you know the game, the, the 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 great thing about this game is the story is really great, but no one knows about it because you have to actually work to get the story of the game. You have to, you know, it's told to you uh, to you through uh, items, and the the lore is not really just told to you. You have to kind of discover it as you go. And um, uh, the story is really great. I mean, I really love the story. Um, I will try to explain some of the lore. I mean, I've watched a lot of lore videos, but there's literally videos and videos on the lore of this game. So I don't want to go in too much detail about it, but I will at least try to do some of the basics, or talk about some of the basics of the lore. Um, <clears throat> basically, we're in the Undead Asylum, which is where the uh, Gwen and his, you know, the, the lords that rule the world, uh, after taking it over from the dragons, they kind of corral all the undead here. Um, just to, I guess, wait till the end of the world. It kind of solves the undead problem because all the humans, well, not all the humans, but some of the humans are starting to become a, a problem because they'll die and they'll come back to life and they'll become undead and they'll eventually go hollow and they'll become monsters. So uh, that's what all these other guys are. These are pretty much hollows, which a hollow is someone who has, uh, it's an undead that's died over and over and over again and basically lost all hope so they just kind of go hollow and they become husks of humanity basically and uh, that's one thing I love about this game is you know that's what happens if you don't beat the game um, you know you die in this game you'll die a lot and you know some people will lose hope and they'll give up on the game and they'll stop playing and in a way you kind of become hollow uh, it's kind of a cool mechanic if you think about it um, so for this first video I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm not really gonna read all these tutorial mes messages on the ground and all that good stuff. I already know how to do all this. This isn't gonna be by any means, like, this is how you read a message. This is how you light a bonfire. We're gonna do things pretty productive, but I wanna show at least some things about the game. In the top left corner, you have the zero, which is my humanity right now. Um, the red bar is your health. Um, obviously, it goes down when you take damage. The green bar is stamina which also goes down when you like run or you attack you can see it going down now or when you run it goes down stamina is very very important in the game it's more important than health in my opinion um, as you will see uh, stamina management is very important in this game in the bottom right corner you have your soul counter which is used as a basically universal currency you can use it for um, buying items upgrading your character leveling up upgrading items and pretty much everything in the game and that is what makes the game so hard is when you die you lose all your souls unless you get back to your body and if you die a second time before you get back to your body you lose your souls forever so um anyways uh, also you got these bonfires here which kind of act as checkpoints you can heal it'll re renew your estus flask which we'll get later on the game let's let's just continue well, i could spend all day talking about the basics of the game right now but let's let's go through this door um, like I said, this isn't a blind playthrough, so if you're expecting me to freak out because of this guy that's about to drop down and be like, Oh my god, I'm, I'm not going to fake it. I mean, I've already seen this. And the purpose of this Let's Play, I guess, isn't exactly to be blind and to, you know, I just I just want to show people the game. And we'll, we'll get through the game. Uh, but anyways, let's get through here. Uh, oh no, what is that? <laughs> Basically, go through this door. Um, in the first... Uh, I think Demon Souls, they're at the very beginning of the game, it threw a boss at you like that too, except you had to fight them and you basically would pretty much die, and that's pretty much the start of the game. It's like, oh, you already died. <laughs> so it's very unforgiving, but, um, and technically you can actually beat him with the, you know, your broken ass sword if you really are badass at the game, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. I mean, l let's just, <laughs> let's not try to show off and all that good stuff, because I would probably die. I'm not that good. I, I think I'm pretty good, but I'm not like the best at Dark Souls, so I'm not going to fight him. Okay, so let's continue. This is where we get our shield finally. One good thing about the bandit 
starting out as a bandit is you get the spider shield which um, if you look on damage reduction percentage you get a hundred percent reduction to physical damage so you start out with a hundred percent block physical damage shield that's really useful and we're gonna use this for like a lot of the game we're gonna use this shield um, I guess some of the controls you can you know you can normal attack you can strong attack you can back like kinda dodge back you can dodge roll you can run um, you can block you can parry and you can do more advanced things you can do like a like a kick I believe yeah you can do a kick and you can do like a lunging attack so there's a lot of things you can do the combat is kinda simple but it's actually kinda complex alright so with the shield we can block the arrows or you can just dodge them <laughs> alright well he's, he usually runs away at this point as you can see, we're doing no damage with, with what we got, though. Oh, why isn't he running away? He usually runs away by now. <laughs> I'm doing six damage, at, two damage at a time. It's going to take all day to kill this guy. <laughs> Run away, what are you doing? Okay, well. Let's try to equip the battle axe while fighting this guy, apparently. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, that's weird. Usually he runs away and you can equip your weapon, but he just kind of took it like a champ. He wasn't scared of, of anybody, I guess. Um, these messages on the ground are usually left by players, but in this tutorial level, they're left by the developers. Kind of showing you the you know how to play the game. Well, I already know how to play the game, so we're not going to bother. Um, so I don't know who the target audience is for these videos, I guess. If you're just you know curious about the game, or you just want to see some gameplay, or or you're just bored, you want to you know you want to see some let's play action, uh, feel free to join me um, anytime. I, I'm going to try to do videos all the way till the end. I fully plan on completing this game. I fully plan on just unedited, triple X rated, un I don't know uncut video I, I don't really want to edit anything out unless an overwhelming majority of you is just like dude fucking don't farm on film then I won't farm on film I mean I don't think anyone's gonna really watch these though so I mean we'll see what people think I mean I, I'm all open to ideas so um, as you can see they try to trick you a little trap there but I, like I said I'm not I'm not going to be faking it. I know there's a trap. I'm not going to just run into it and be like, Oh my god, I forgot about the trap. No, I know there's a trap there. And there's also this very important oh, character. You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to skip this the dialogues yet. I mean, I guess for now we can we can listen to the dialogue unless you know I get like suggestions like oh yeah you can skip the dialogue I don't care or if any of you really want to hear the dialogue then yeah I'll play all the dialogue. I mean, for now we'll play the dialogue though. We'll just play it by ear for now. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Okay, so... He's the guy that let us out of our prison. As you can see, he fell through the roof. Some of the lore people say that he... He basically fought the asylum demon and failed, so he's dying. Um and he's probably one of the most important characters in the game because he basically teaches you the uh, fate of the undead he sh tells you what you're supposed to do he basically sets your journey in motion and he begins the whole the whole series of events that 
unveils, you know, your destiny, I guess you could say. So he's a very important character, even though he dies pretty much at the very beginning. Um, okay, I think these might be... Nope, these are still... These are still uh, developer messages, so... Let's continue. We're going to beat the first boss, don't worry. The tutorial doesn't have, you know, too much action going on. But uh, we'll get to action. There'll be action, there'll be... There'll be tears, there'll be cries of enjoyment. There will be all sorts of emotions as we get through this game. Um, of course I'm gonna die. Everyone dies in this game. You're gonna die a lot. It's part of the game. And the thing about Dark Souls that's so great is when you die it's not exactly like oh the game's cheap, the game's bullshit. No it's not that. It's, it's usually your fault when you die. I mean the game's extremely fair. It rewards, you know, good play, it punishes bad play, simple as that. So I'm not going to make any excuses if I die. I'm not going to be like, oh, that's cheap. You know, if I die, and I will die, I'm not going to rage quit. It's part of the game. It's, you know, you just get used to it, play better, learn from your mistakes. That's what's so great about this game, too, is, um, well, let's go through here and fight the boss first. Hello. <laughs> and he's already almost dead. He's not that scary now, is he? Now that I actually have a weapon, not just using half a fucking sword now, huh? Ooh, big man. Oh, that was a huge miss. Okay. Oh, you're you're so off. Oh, I missed again. Okay. <laughs> this guy's really easy. I'm just playing like ass, so I'm, I apologize in advance. There we go. Take it in the chest. As you can see, oh no, don't drop down. We're going to two-handed this guy. This is going to hurt. Yes. You can uh, use two hands on your weapons. It does more damage, but it makes you uh, less... Uh, it, it makes you... Uh, you can't really block as well. You can block with your two-handed weapon, but you will take damage in the process. Other than if I use my shield, it's a 100% chance to block. I won't take any damage if I block, as long as I have sufficient stamina to take the hit and that's why stamina is like I said probably more important than health because if you have more stamina you can block more hits and you can survive longer I mean pretty much and now that I think about it have I taken a hit yet? I don't even think I've taken a hit yet <laughs> so far pretty good let's play huh be the tutorial okay um I guess we're gonna end this video um, I'm gonna go to is there anything that I missed I don't think I missed anything uh, I hope you enjoyed the video so far I hope you know at least you can I don't I don't know you can go into the videos in the future at least knowing that you know we're gonna make progress we're gonna beat the game uh, I fully hope that I can at least ent entertain one person at least maybe have somebody follow my video I don't care whatever I'm not gonna fish for likes and subscriptions and all that it's not about that it's about the game it's about spreading the word of Dark Souls about spreading the just a great game sharing it with people or sharing it with at least one person I would be happy with that um, I mean I'm not a professional youtuber I don't have professional equipment I'm just a guy that likes this game and I like video games in general and I wanna like you know share my uh, my passion I guess for the game and uh, I couldn't think of a better way than doing a Let's Play of Dark Souls. There's probably a lot of other Let's Plays out there, but I will try to make this one special. I don't know how, but I, I don't know. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. We're going to go up here and initiate another cutscene. Go to the Firelink Shrine, go to the bonfire, and I will end the video there. So I guess enjoy this giant crow. <laughs> legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen to leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordra
All right, Fire Link Shrine. This is your new home in Dark Souls. This is where you're gonna live for the game. This is the central hub of the game. This is where the game splits off into many directions into all the different areas of the game, all the different bosses. Um, I guess um, throughout the game, we're gonna basically beat all those badasses you saw at the beginning of the game. We're gonna have to fight all those guys and beat all of them, uh, I believe. Uh, Daughters of Chaos, uh, well, the Beta Chaos, you have the Grave Lord Nito, you have Gwen, which is the final boss, and you have, oh, the Furta Pygmy, uh, well, more about him, you actually, it's, it's believed that you fight him in the DLC, it's not confirmed, I don't think, but he, I think he's the final boss of the DLC, which I do have too, and, uh, we'll probably do the DLC, I mean, why not? I mean, we'll see how this Let's Play goes, um, oh, there's a Bloodstain, <laughs> Hold on, a, hold on a second. This is part of the online component of the game. You can actually <clears throat> touch these blood stains, and you can see how other players have died who are playing the game right now. Let's see what he does. He, where is he going? Where, what are you doing? No, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> he just jumped down the well. Humanity. Okay, good drop. He just ran and jumped down the well. Why would you do that? <laughs> I love watching these blood stains because there's some that are just ridiculous and really funny. Um, okay, well, let's rest at the bonfire. Let's end the video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw so far. We're going to make more videos. I'll try to put out a video maybe like once a day. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but until next time, uh, if, if anyone is watching, I thank you very much. Show appreciation if you really want to. I'm not... I don't really care. I, I mean, of course I wouldn't mind if I had... You know, a few people watch the video at least, but um, in the end, it's all about Dark Souls. It's all about the game and the experience. So I hope you enjoyed it so far, and there will be much more to come. I promise you that. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.